Hi, welcome to Biology in a Minute. This is another Florida EOC edition, and I'm your host, Ms. Feldbush. Today I'm going to be talking about hominid evolution. Hominids are humans and all of their most recent ancestors. Basically, anything that's sort of ape-like and walks upright would be a hominid. As far as the EOC, what you're really needing to know about hominids um, is how they evolved specifically with regards to four things. You want to know about their brains, their jaws, how they use language, and how they use tools. Um, that's really all that's relevant to the standards. So, one of the things that drove hominid evolution was bipedalism, the ability to walk upright. Scientists think had a lot to do with the evolution that came later. And we saw lots of changes in their hips and legs as they began to walk upright, um, but those aren't the ones that we're worried about for today. One of the things that we see in hominid ancestors is over time there was a big increase in brain size. Now, scientists can't measure brain size directly because the brains are long gone, um, but by looking at the skulls um, and the fossil remains of those, they can what's called extrapolate. And extrapolate means that they're calculating and figuring out without a direct measurement. Um, so looking at the skull size, you get this sort of general upward trend as um, hominids evolved and became more like humans, the brain size got progressively bigger. And this has a lot of implications because the brain size got bigger, um, we think that that allowed us to do other things with tool usage and language development. And so there's going to be a real connection between those standards. Perhaps one of the causes of the brain getting bigger, and this seems really weird, um, but the jaw got smaller. Uh, people think that one of the things keeping the brain small was actually a pressure as the really huge, big jaws were pulling down on the skull. And so that constant pressure pulling down kept the brain from really getting larger. And so there's this current hypothesis that they're working on um, that there was a mutation that weakened the jaw. And so because the jaw got weaker, it allowed the brain to um, expand instead. And so we see instead of being shape shaped like a pointy football and kept flat that now we get something more like a soccer ball as the brain got bigger. And so the jaw actually got smaller and instead of jutting out and being very large it started to recede back and so we see a much more upright um, sort of arrangement of the face with the eyes becoming more forward and the jaw coming more back. And with this big increase in brain size, um, we saw that there was a lot more usage of tools and language as this developed. About two million years ago, they start to see a lot of evidence of um, spear tips and tools um, and little evidence of written language that was left behind. And so more than likely, the cause of this use of tools and language increasing was the increase in brain capacity that allowed them to do it. And here's just a nice little summary chart. If you look at humans, whoop, we're here. Um, and so you look at all of the different precursors, and they found evidence of skulls throughout time that lead us to believe this is how it happened. Um, but we had the sloping head and small brain of earlier ancestors like Africanus, um, Australopithecus, and then the earlier Homo species, uh, but eventually leading to what we look like today. And because this is an EOC edition, we're going to end with a practice question. I just want to point out a couple of things before you start the question. First, notice that there's this little stem. The EOC people like to put little stems in front of the question. It makes it kind of educational. It's supposed to make it relevant and interesting for you. And also there's a picture. Pictures are pretty common. Um, that picture can be in place of a little introductory paragraph or in addition to. If you need to pause to read the question, go ahead and pause now and figure out what your answer is going to be. All right, the first thing you want to do is eliminate obvious wrong choices. Um, I think B is definitely wrong. It says the jaws protruded more over time, which is the opposite of what I see in the picture. Um, and then C, there appears to be no change in the jaws over time. I think that one can eliminate, be eliminated as well. That leaves A and D. I think D is a little tricky. You need to actually go back up and read the stem again. And if you'll read the stem, what you read in D is contradictory to what's stated there. So we're going to eliminate D. I hope you chose A as your right answer. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of Biology in a Minute. I'll see you next time.